I don't. I have to replay and watch it. Um, I, he had me jacked up going into the corner, and then um, I, they said he hit me, but um, pretty much and called for. Um, you know, he was struggling to catch me there for a while, and finally got to me, and then just turned me around. Whether he hit me or not, he turned me around. So um, I guess uh, what comes around goes around. The odd part of that is you will now go into Indy tied with him for the last spot in the playoffs. So, yeah, I know you don't approach Indy any differently, but it is going to be a pressure-packed race for you in the 16. I'm used to that. I'm good with that. <laughs> I, my car is clean. And, uh, you know, we always race very hard. I really knew him. He's very well known for racing extremely hard. He's one of the hardest guys to pass out there, and I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, it was, I think, the second time or third time I was trying to pass him, getting into a one, and he was just blocking me. And that time I, was, I, I got him aero loose, but I didn't touch him. My car is 100% clean, but uh, that's kind of racing, you know. Uh, he raised me hard, I raised him hard back. All right, so the bigger pictures, you're in a dead heat now with Ryan as we go to the final regular season race at Indianapolis. How do you like your chances sort of head-to-head -to, -head to come away with a spot? We should be good. I love Indianapolis. One of my favorite racetracks, so... Let's go out there, have some fun, and uh, hopefully we can we can uh, be all in after Indianapolis because right now it's been it's been a deal of racing points and trying to be smart and trying to race sometimes 95 percent, sometimes 100 percent, sometimes 90 percent. I can wait to to finish Indianapolis, hopefully in the in the good side of things, and, uh, and go go fight hard.